is Sankar. Welcome to the Upriver Crawfish Channel. This is another update on the Ethiopian war. Good news for the Ethiopian government. Let's start off with the map of Ethiopia. This is our orientation. The conflict zone is in is around this area. So let's fly in now. This is Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia. It's around this area. And the areas in the pink are the areas of the Ethiopian government forces and their allies. The areas in the green is a salient from the TPLF when the events outside of Tigray. This area in light gray is Tigray. The areas where the darker gray are Ethiopian forces in the Tigray region. So let me zoom in. So this map, usually this map, the update after they have got, gotten a lot of different sources and sometimes they rely on they rely on information from mainstream media as well. So it's not as up to date with regards to this salient. From my understanding and from all I've read, the salient is no longer there. The, even the, Tigre, the TPLF forces have stated that they, are, they have retreated to Tigray because they want peace, they want a negotiated solution. All of a sudden now, they're calling for a negotiated solution. Well, to be honest, they were calling for a negotiated so solution, but on but a solution which they wanted to dictate. Now they have lost ground. But so my understanding is that they have left this salient. They managed to get some back roads and leave because the Ethiopian government forces is all along this A A2 highway. But more than that, the Ethiopian government forces have actually advanced along the A2 highway to Alamata, to the city of Alamata. So the the ENDF and their allies, they were there's report that they seized they seized several towns in the south and in the city. They seized the town of Waja along the A2 highway. They went and seized the town of Rare, Rare, and then they seized the city of Alamata. So TPLF is back in Tigrayan territory. This is the city of Alamata. So, there have been some unfortunate loss of lives in this conflict with civilians due to the fighting. And you see some pictures of that. But so far, the Ethiopian government is on the move and they are securing territory. They are going to try to take over the rest of Tigray. When the Ethiopian government pull back in the summer sometime in june june or july and the Tigrayans came back and retook Mikili. they said the ethiopian government was playing a cruel a, 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 a cruel joke by saying that they wanted peace because at the time the ethiopian government pulled back because of all the cries from the tplf's imperial backers U.S. and the West as a whole. So now, it looks like the Ethiopian government, I mean, they don't have a choice. The people of Tigray are Ethiopians. They have to secure the territory. They have to extend the rate of the government throughout Ethiopia. So if TPLF want peace, they better ask for, for their leadership to ask for ways to get out of the country. And let the people of Ethiopia and the people of Tigray live in peace. 
the government has to extend its rate. There's no other way to that, right? There's no other way to that. So that's how the war is going. This map will hopefully update. And when it updates, I'm expecting to see the salient. And, and the salient is this whole area in green. I'm expecting to see this whole salient in Amara removed because T the TPLF themselves said that they have pulled all the forces out of Amhara in hopes for a negotiated solution. So all of this should be gone and they should see the ENDF and the allies along the A2 highway. The uh, again, th those uh, those drones are devastating. That's devastating the the TPLF ranks and taking out all the heavy artillery that they took. Now let's remember when the TPLF started this uh, right before they started this nonsense, when IBF met reorganized the the. EPRDF party and reorganize it with the rest of the other tribes to become the prosperity party. TPLF looking at it didn't want to be part of that group because now everything was going to be voting was going to be proportional to your size. And with, T, with Tigray having only 6% of the being only six percent of the Ethiopian population, they they weren't going to have wield that outsized influence that they had before. So they left the party and they left the military took about I would say maybe more than sixty percent of the men. The, the, the Ethiopian mil and military forces took more than 60% of them and went and, and went to Tigray. Then the the about 80% of the the general staff also to or the top officer staff were also uh, uh, TPLF members. So they all went too. So this is why they thought they could and th and then they also had the the because of the war that Ethiopia was fighting with Eritrea, a lot of weapons were stored in Tigray. So, looking at having 80% of the, the, the top brass with them ha and having about 60 or more percent of the Ethiopian military with them, they thought that get, that made them uh, able to go ahead and put pressure on the government. And so they challenged the authority of the government. And this is what they would get. No government can sit and, uh, and tolerate this. No government anywhere will sit and tolerate this. So it's about time that they get their ass spanked. They need to leave that territory and let the people of Tigray li live. They don't care for the people of Tigray. They're just using them. But that's where things are right now. The Ethiopian government is, is doing better. So, hope, hopefully this war will be over soon. Um, holding our hope that it will be over soon. I know the TPLF is still a good force, but they don't seem to have answer for those drones. And when, they, if, when their heavy weapons are knocked out, then they will be facing the Ethiopian and government heavy weapons, and they they don't seem to to have a response for those. So that's it for today. Today is December twenty first. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.